here we are at the northern terminus the 270 degree outlook I was looking south moving around not sure what river that is but And this is looking into Canada. Somewhere in those trees is the line. Beautiful, lovely day. Here with my friend Roger. He hiked up here from the parking lot with me. We're enjoying the morning. Okay, the adventure has begun for the Superior Hiking Trail. It is Sunday, September 11th, 9-11. That's an interesting day to start. It is about quarter after 10 in the morning. Uh, Roger Reinert, friend from Duluth, brought me up here in my car to the northern terminus. And uh, he and I both hiked a little over a mile from where we had parked <clears throat> to the northern terminus. 270 degree overlook and back out. I left my pack in the car and I got my pack on now, obviously. Uh, just take a picture of what this trail looks like. Kind of a, like a forestry road or something. Uh, beautiful day, sun's out. <clears throat> Temperature was in the low to mid 50s this morning. It felt great. Oh, let me show you a picture of the uh, trail signage. There we go. The blue blazes are the Superior Hiking Trail and every once in a while we'll have one of those little signs as well, either plain or with a blue arrow pointing the direction of the trail or uh, a blue rectangle, which is the representation of the blaze. Or if they have a, a white rectangle, that means it's a spur trail. And so I learned that from some of the guys at the Superior Fall Races event when I was down there this past weekend helping to mark trail and, and uh, sweep the trails after the runners in a couple of sections. So I spent the night last night with Roger and Duluth. We got up early this morning and we were on the road by about quarter to six. Uh, made good time. Um, way less expensive than hiring the shuttle out of Grand Marais. Wow. Way less expensive. It's about a three hour trip from Duluth up to the Northern Terminus parking lot. So not bad at all. And I will have more to share as we go. I'm going to I'm going to try and push it a little bit. We were talking to a fellow in the parking lot this morning who hiked this trail last year. It's basically the same place that I'm headed to. I'm going to try and get to Martin Road on the north side of Duluth. That's probably close to 260 miles, 250, 260, somewhere in there. He did it in 15 days. But uh, his wife said it was an aggressive pace and he was a younger guy. I don't think I'm going to be quite that aggressive. Let me rephrase. I'm not going to be that aggressive. Yeah. Take a little bit more time. Uh, I know not all the trails like this. Because I've been on part of it the past few days. There are some rugged, rugged climbs and descents. Uh, rock scrabble and just some... Uh, gnarly, rooty, rocky paths. They're gonna to be tough going once I get into the central part of the trail. So far, this is easy walking. So, all right, moving on.
of this is what's called Hellacious Overlook. The sign was back on the trail a little bit and there was nothing there and I thought, oh, this, this is not anything. And then a little further down you get to this outcropping of rock which you can stand on and see Lake Superior. A lot of it actually. Gorgeous. And here's a little less obstructed view, just a little bit further down the trail. Through those trees, you can see Wisconsin as well. So this is part of the trail uh, along this hellacious overlook and ridge line. A lot of it is just traveling on bare rock here. That's where the trail goes. Somewhere off of here. There it is. And down into some trampled grass. Beautiful day.